take just a couple of the effects that I do actually like to apply and I'm going to look on a track basis just to explain them. So I'm going to go to my audio mixer and I'm going to clear out the ones that we've already got in here. I've shown you the EQ, the parametric EQ is the one that I use a great deal in audition um, and parametric EQs actually are very similar to the EQ that you get in Premiere Pro. You do have parametric EQ but parametric EQ is about one frequency. So if you've got a problem with a specific frequency, you can find out where that frequency is and you can then boost it or you can cut it to get rid of the frequency at one particular place. Whereas parametric EQ and things like Audition is very much like the EQ. You've got lots of areas that you can work with together. Okay, so what kind of effects are going to be really useful? Well, clearly de-clickers, de-essers, de-cracklers, de-hummers, the noises, these are bits and pieces that are going to be very useful for you when you've got problems with noise. If you have the suite, it's actually better in my opinion to get into Audition to deal with these problems. But even so, these can still be very powerful and very easy to apply. If you've got things like guitar and you want to fill out the noise of a guitar or you want to fill out some sort of audio that you've got so it sounds a lot broader, you can use Chorus. So I'm going to go to Chorus, right click on it to get to Edit and you can see you've got different options. Again, right click and you can go to all different versions. So we're on this particular piece of music. So if I go to wide and hit play, you can see that you've got quite an effective effect that you can play with to change the way things sound. So I'm going to go from chorus, you've got flangers which are very similar, phasers are very similar. You've even got pitch shifters so you can change the pitch of something up or down as you want to. One of the most useful ones in my opinion is the multiband compressor. Now the multiband compressor can take speech and change it or take music and change it deciding on which frequencies you're going to listen to. So if I right click on that one and go to edit, you can see that this is how it looks but if you go right click again you can see you've even got things that say like telephone so if I go on telephone it's going to really restrict the band that you hear so that when you play it it really sounds like you're in a telephone so you can play around with these bands and have lots of fun with them as you need to so these are the different options you then play with the buttons to play with them um, often I like to start with something that's fairly close and work from there but obviously that's completely up to you so these are the ones that are going to be quite useful to you there is one sort of all singing all dancing one which is the one that's called dynamics so when you go to dynamics and you right click on dynamics and edit you'll find that you've got all kinds of things you've got noise gates which means that below a certain frequency or a certain level of noise it shuts everything off and you don't hear anything you've got the compressor which compresses the range so it's not quite as wide dynamically so it doesn't go quite as quiet or necessarily quite as loud but you kind of restrict the range so it's easier to hear say in a, in a car radio or whatever you've got expanders for making things sound wider and limiters to stop things from, from just going too loud so there's lots to play with I'm not going to go through all of these but that's a go to effect quite often and so you can right click on it you can see you've got all kinds of options that might help you when you actually need to deal with bits and pieces so these are the effects that I quite often use however my own preference I've got the suite is I tend to take things into audition and actually get them sorted out there but even so you've still got an amazing bunch of really powerful effects that you can just play with and I would advise you to spend quite a bit of time sitting down and playing with these and seeing what you come up with